What's up guys, it's Trev, uh, back in the garage trying to figure out this drivability issue. Going to take today to go ahead and test the uh, throttle position sensor, the crank sensor, the uh, map sensor, see if I can figure out what the hell is going on with my Jeep. And of course, on the way over here, it drove almost perfectly fine, um, acted up once for about two seconds and then went back to normal. So hopefully we can find a problem. Um, it's actually warmed up a little bit too, it's above freezing, so... I'll actually be slightly comfortable in the garage. Went ahead and bought a whole case of uh, propane, so I'm going to get my heater fired up here. But it's been so cold lately that all the rivers around here are frozen. And on my way over here, I saw a father and son playing, having a snowball fight on top of the river. So it's been cold, so today should be a little nicer. But anyway, I'm going to get to work, hopefully figure out this problem because I was supposed to be at Roush Creek right now off-roading. Not happy. I'm also getting a bit of a late start doing this. Um, I spent most of my morning watching uh, Bullshit Corner and um, Redneck Garage videos watching uh, Jerry and David work on their Jeeps. So, I don't know. I guess I just need a little bit of inspiration to get back to work on mine. So, I don't have internet at the garage, and I don't have a printer at home, so I took a whole bunch of photos of my computer screen on my phone of diagnostic procedures so I can figure out if any one of these sensors is going bad. Starting with the map sensor. Which is in a very tight space. Alright, there we go. I know I'm not the only one to complain about this, but what the hell is with Jeep and Torx bits? I already had this out once at work just to clean the connection where it goes into the throttle body with the hose. I cleaned the throttle body out, which was filthy. Seems like it helped for a little bit. The weird thing with this problem is... It will run fine after restarting the Jeep. Damn. The engine will run fine after restarting the Jeep until, you know, it goes for a few minutes and then starts acting up again. So every time I change something, I'm like, yay, I got it fixed. And, uh,. And a mile or so down the road. No, wrong. Okay, so pro back probing the map sensor. With the key off, I have 0 0.028 volts. So we gotta turn the key on. All right, key on, we're at 4.74 volts. And this says, with the key on, no vacuum applied, should be 4.8 volts. So that's just about right on the money. And as you apply vacuum... All right, so the battery in my camera died. Um, so as we apply vacuum, the voltage should drop. Uh, only problem is, I don't have a uh, vacuum pump so as horrible as this is gonna be we're gonna do it the old way the old-fashioned way oh wait a second I'm losing my connection here 4.74 I'm gonna do this while looking at this at the same time stay Well, voltage is dropping. I should be able to get it down to at least 3.9 or 3.1. I think I went less more than that. Let's try it one more time just to make sure. Uh, 
All right, got it down to two volts. So I applied at least 15 inches of vacuum. No, uh, no comments on this, by the way. I know what some of you are thinking. Anyway, so that seems to be working. Let's see what this little guide tells me. Puh. Oh, man. Volts is decreased. Map sensor is okay. And has power. So we're good. So we're going to move to the next test. All right, TPS sensor. If I can get this lock out. Oh, I hate these locking tabs. Ugh. There it goes. Right as it starts bending is an, and is about to break. Okay. Five volts. I freaking hate electrical. That's at zero, so then this one should be the signal wire. It's at zero. Okay. And work the throttle. That stays at zero. Let's try this one again. Deep enough. Ow. Not doing crap. I don't know if it's connected right though. Okay, well, the uh, TPS can't can't figure crap out. Um, back probe it. I don't know if I'm back probing it properly. So there's no change on the multimeter. Um, my buddy here just suggested driving home with the TPS unhooked. See if the problem gets worse. If it gets worse, throttle position sensor is good. If it stays the same, then that doesn't answer a damn thing. But I got a buddy back in Connecticut who's a Jeep technician who was telling me it could be an O2 sensor um, and to monitor the upstream data. I don't have access to a scan tool right now, but I have been having an intermittent code for a uh, heater circuit for one of my O2s, so... Who knows, maybe that's the problem. I'll have to check that out when I get back to work on Tuesday. Okay, well, I'm feeling a little leery about the TPS. Um, I'm not sure if I couldn't back probe it properly, and that's why I wasn't getting any reading, and it was staying right around zero, or if the TPS is the problem. So, I got it unhooked right now. The check engine light immediately came on, so we got a hard code. So at least I know the freaking check engine light works. Um, shush phone. Anyway, uh, I'm going to drive home with the TPS unhooked. So the car's in limp home mode. It has slow throttle response. Uh, but we're going to see if it still acts up. If it doesn't act up, then who knows? Maybe that means that the TPS is the problem. Or if it does act up, then that doesn't tell me crap. Two minutes so far into the drive home. I felt one slight little hesitation, so I'm not sure if that's my problem kind of rearing its ugly head around, or if, uh... All right, definitely not the TPS. Check this out. Now it's gonna make a liar out of me. Um, but yeah, it, it just, acted up and shook the hell out of me a second ago. Of course, the camera wasn't on, but uh, I'm going to go ahead now and assume that the throttle position sensor is good because with it unplugged, it didn't seem to make a difference. It just randomly acts up. And that's probably one of the worst shakes yet. I'm sorry I didn't get it on video. Uh, I guess uh, I got to wait till I get my hands on a scan tool and I can monitor the uh, upstream O2 data. We'll keep plugging away. I don't know how well that time at the garage was spent, but 
Eliminated the throttle position sensor from being the problem. Eliminated the map sensor from being the problem. And fairly certain I eliminated the crank sensor from being the problem. Uh, so I'm going to take my buddy's advice and as soon as I have a uh, scan tool to use, I'm going to see what's going on with the O2 information. Uh, but in the meantime, back home, time to have some dinner soon and time to just crack a cold one. Because with the way the Jeep's running, it's been a rough week. Talk to you guys later.